G'day and welcome to another one of my Minecraft Shader videos. Uh, today I just wanted to go over some of the topics that have been appearing on our Facebook page. Uh, if you've been actually following our page and some of my videos, you'll know that I've been working on volumetric light. Uh, it's the same one that Sonic Ether has been working on. And a lot of you have been asking when there's going to be a release date or perhaps a preview version. Now as of right now there is a no release date planned. Um, mainly because we want to get the approval from Sonic Ether before we make a release. Uh, just because he hasn't actually released this effect himself yet. And it'll kind of be a bit of a dick move to uh, release it before he does. So we want to you know, show some respect to him and at least ask him before we go ahead and make any sort of release. And pretty much we just don't want to be stepping on his toes and rushing out a release before he does. Uh, now we will uh, obviously try and ask him if we can release it. Uh, but we won't actually post whether he says yes or no. Um, basically because we don't want him to feel like he's the bad guy stopping us from you know, releasing this to you guys. Uh, and if he did happen to say yes, we probably still won't release it at this stage anyway. Uh, which is the other topic that I wanted to get into. Uh, which is the bugs that are associated with this new effect. Um, there's three main ones that are the problem at the moment. Uh, the first one is that we need to apply a better filter to this effect. Uh, if you actually notice, if I try and get a right angle here, uh, you can see a bit of the bleeding around the edges of the block here. That's caused by the volumetric lighting and hopefully adding a filter in will help improve that. Uh, another little problem is that it is looking still a bit grainy. Uh, probably can't really see it now but if we go into say the church over here by the way, the texture pack that I'm using is a new Faithful Ultra by Michael. Alright, so if we come in here, as you can see, it's still looking a little bit blurry, a bit grainy. We want to add another filter onto that. Try and make it a bit more smoother. Uh, bug number two, if we come back over here, we've been experiencing a bit of light leakage in between the cracks of blocks, as you can see there. Quite a distracting little bug that one. doesn't always happen. Uh, it's mainly on the step effect of blocks. Uh, these are sort of going up and you can sort of see a bit of light leakage there and that's where it's coming from. And for the last bug, and this is the biggest one of all, is that unfortunately that the sun seems to be piercing through like entire mountains when at a distance. Uh, and the main reason why I'm doing all these in the video is that pictures don't really justify 
or show you exactly what the bug is doing. As you can see there, you're getting the light leaking through that mountain and all of a sudden the sun comes straight through it. Uh, at this stage we've got no idea how to fix this. I know what's causing it, but unfortunately what's causing it is also needed to make this effect work. Um, so if we go back to say the previous version, you'll notice that this bug isn't actually present in this one. Going back, going back. It's pretty much associated with biometric light. So yeah, even if we did get Sonic Keith, let's go ahead. These are some of the bugs that we'd like to get fixed before getting out to use. Uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty bad at the moment. Obviously, it's only at a great distance. As soon as you get closer, it sorts itself out. Um, <laughs> almost. There's still some sort of light leakage coming through. So we got a bit of work ahead of us. So yeah, just to recap, we're not actually going to be releasing this version with volumetric light anytime soon. Uh, we do apologize as it probably does come across as we're teasing you guys, uh, but that's not what we're trying to get out at all. Uh, my main goal is just to keep you guys informed, give you updates to, as to how it's looking. Uh, if you guys are, feel like you know, this is a bit too much of a tease, just let us know and we'll cut back on the amount of coverage that we're doing of volumetric light. Uh, but then again, you know, if you want to see more of it, uh, also leave a comment about that and I'll be more than happy to make a cinematic video showing you some of the cool aspects of volumetric lighting. Uh, on that note, I'll just show you exactly how this has come along. As you can see, there's still not a huge amount of haze during the daytime. I have had to turn up just a little bit. Uh, just so you can get a bit more of the visual effect of it. Uh, I've also added in another controller so I can adjust the amount of brightness when going undercover. Because uh, at the moment we've got two of them in, or three, which is to govern how strong the effect is during the daytime, another one for sunrise and sunset, and another one for nighttime. Uh, we've added in an extra one, which now increases the effect when your player goes underneath block cover, which is a similar sort of effect uh, or function for a dynamic tone mapping. As you can see outside, it gets very bright. This feature was also present in the previous versions. Now the main reason for doing this is to basically when you're coming through forest areas such as this, uh, since you've got cover over top it will increase the effect and yeah since the haze is only visible in uh, the light areas like the daylight areas, uh, you won't actually experience the haze underneath here as you can see. So adding in this controller, I can really pump up the effect so you can actually see it better when passing through here. And as soon as you come out into the opening, it reverts back to the daytime strength, thus getting rid of the haze. And yeah, these are some of the areas I was going through taking pictures of.
There you can kind of see the effect shining through there. For me personally, once these bugs are out of the way, uh, there's not much more in terms of tweaking the effect and how it looks. As I think it's actually looking really quite nice now. Uh, if I go back to the version that I originally showed off, that's kind of how it was looking when coming through here. Right, the effect is, it's it's nice, it's quite a bit more natural. Uh, but I kind of felt like since this is a new feature, it's really good to try and pump it up and show it off as best as we can. So coming back to this one, you can see the beam of light coming over top. And as you may have noticed from the pictures that I posted before, uh, we have fixed the uh, moon rays as well, so they are now working as previously I did actually break them. Uh, so if we go to around this time, now the moon rays are a little bit more on the subtle side, they're not as noticeable I guess. Um, might be able to see it around here. And go forward one more. There you go. So you can kind of see it coming through there. You're probably looking out there going, oh my god, it's so hazy, but once again, I've got that controller in place for the night time as well. So when I'm the cover, it gets really hazy, but when you come out, you can see it slowly fade away. As you can see in the mornings, we've got extra haze, just so I can really show off these uh, volumetric lights. As you can see, we still need a uh, filter on it. You can see the blurriness there on the corners. But in doing this, uh, it will take a lot more frame rate. As you can see, I've had fraps on the whole time, so you can uh, see what sort of frame rate I'm getting with a GTX 980. And yeah, the other thing I wanted to mention is that uh, the volumetric light that we've been working on has been a real team effort uh, between myself, Joey, and Deathraid. Uh, Joey was the one that actually got the code in to begin with. And that was mainly in Sonic Ether's uh, 10.2 version. Uh, and Deathraid 
came in and helped actually rewrite it to get it working with our percentage closer soft shadowing. Uh, <clears throat> it wasn't done 100% uh, correctly, uh, but he did actually provide us with extremely essential uh, elements to it to actually get it working, which uh, Joey eventually got in and did a lot of bug fixing with it. And lastly, I've come in and basically uh, changed how it looks and got it looking the way it is and applied the uh, controllers so that we can control how it looks different times of day and undercover. So yeah, it's, it has been a real team effort. So without Joey's and death rate's help, uh, these biometric lights that you're seeing right now probably wouldn't even be around. So a big shout out to those two guys for doing an excellent job. And yeah, another small tweak that I've uh, implemented as well is that the volumetric light won't calculate when you're underwater. Right, as you can see, completely gone. And they also won't show up when it's raining. So when it starts to rain, since the sun gets blocked out. <laughs> uh, what you're actually seeing there, that's actually the 2D God Rays, I've still left them enabled. Uh, the other thing that I've uh, tweaked as well is the raindrops coming down the lens. I've taken out a fair bit of the colour since a lot of people uh, wanted that tone back a bit. I don't know, I feel like it probably could do with a hint of actual colour to it, but eh, it's not too bad. So yeah, this is the uh, increased effect that I was talking about. So when you're undercover, I've uh, really pushed up uh, the visual effect of it. I don't know if this is actually a little bit too strong. As you see, this is what it looked like originally. This is more of a natural feel. But in forest areas, it can get lost. And as you can see from around this view here, it's already starting to disappear, hard to see. Which is why I've kind of uh, pushed them up a bit, so now you can still at least see them. Yeah, that's just about all I really wanted to show and get out of the way. Like I said, uh, if you want to see more of this, just uh, let us know. I'll probably make up a cinematic video and get it out to you. Or perhaps tell us, you know, and cut back a little bit on it since it's a bit of a tease. Uh, trust us when we say that we do want to get this out to you as soon as we can. I know that everyone's been waiting a long time for these. So yeah, that's about all. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.